Hi, today we're going to talk about the uh, elements of art and principles of art uh, using the food. Uh, I'm going to pick the one of the cheapest way to explain. So we have a, a ramen noodle, a cup ramen noodle. And can I reveal the brand? But some might recognize what these are. Uh, so I'm not going to use the actual word. Right. I'm going to use the elements of art uh, word only. So this is a dot. All right. Let me. So this is a dot. But as it uh, creates the uh, form and it creates the uh, value because of the light reflects here, this side, and then it becomes darker. So almost everything that we see, if it is a three dimensional, we can see the value changes if the color is uh, the more chromatic. Uh, if there's a multiple colors, then that's a different story. Here we have a color, right? I forgot to uh, write the color. So let's see if I can put the color here, right? Okay. All right. So in this case, the orange and green, that's a, a secondary color. Uh, red and green, that's a, a complementary color, right? So here, I pick all the more flat uh, items and put it together. So two-dimensional, flat. This one is more uh, around and cylinder form. So I decide to use this as a form. So you can see more uh, shadow drawn more than the two-dimensional because it has a volume, right? And then this is a thin uh, lines, right? They're all broken off. But you can also see the lines in here. But because of the, they are all together, you can feel the texture, right? And this whole mass putting together create a form, right? But if you look at it carefully, all these individual lines creating the form, uh, putting it together. And then this incredible space that's going to be, and then we're going to start adding, right, these items. So we can have our final artwork, right? So this is my artwork again. Let's go over dot and then those dots putting it together created value. And there's a shape. This is a circular shape, right? And this is a green uh, shape, right? So again, green and red, it's a, a complementary color because it's in opposite side of the color wheel, right? And then this is a more cylinder. Uh, form. Form is three-dimensional, so you can see more shadow drawn, right? And then red and green, uh, that's uh, usually, we are talking about the secondary colors. Primary color is red, or uh, blue, and yellow. And from there, we move on to lines, all the cut is short lines, right? And then if you put together, and then you create a mess, and it become form, right? And then again, you can see the texture. Each element has a very uh, different texture, very soft, right? And very hard, right? Again, hard. It feels softer, but this is hard because it's all dry, right? And then in this space, we're going to start putting things together and then create the dish. So we're going to take these out. I put it here so you can still see right we have a line falling color and the shape right and then you want to start on uh, mixing it so I'm gonna put this one in the center now okay right and then we're gonna go with these let's put all of these Our presentation. Right. And then think of the water as a cre creativity or the way that you make art. Uh, without the water, the life of food will not uh, happen, right? So 
water is your ability to create so putting things together right? okay and then the next thing you want to do is put the lid on right And then you wait for three minutes. So often our art making takes much longer than that. Um, I remember telling the story of the Da Vinci. Uh, the Mona Lisa takes like three to seven years. It depends on the history. And some people said it took three. Some people said it's it uh, took seven. So somewhere between three and seven, right? Three minutes is not so bad. Uh, another thing that you need to remember when you are uh, having these uh, as an art for your mouth, uh, try not to put too much uh, salt, right? That dots, if you put all the dots that's provided by the, uh, the company, then that's going to be a little too much. So usually the half will uh, suit you and for your health too. And we grew up uh, having this a lot. Uh, we have so many different ways of cooking it. We use the frying pan to cook it with the sugar. We time to time just eat raw, just spr spreading with the sprinkle. Or if you, we, don't have, we don't have a sprinkle, we just eat uh, raw if we don't have a water. And I remember it was my middle school year, the first time the cup ramen, uh, just adding the water, you don't have to cook, just add the water and three minutes you wait. Uh, that came out for the first time, but we never wait three minutes, usually just after one minute we start eating those hard, semi-hardened uh, the lines for ourselves. And my favorite was uh, break everything uh, and then make it into small uh, lines and then uh, sprinkle on the frying pan and put some sugar and then that creates very uh, sweet uh, uh, tasting uh, the lines okay with all those uh, form it creates the organic forms because of the sugar became brown and tangled with all those small lines. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay. All right, so here is the final dish. You can see uh, naturally when we uh, place it on the plate, it gives the uh, radio balance, right? And I'll say there are different uh, organic shapes right and form so this could be a variety rather than harmony right okay so that's also every uh, artwork contains uh, principles of art so in this case um, the variety is fine the radio balance and the contrast between the the orange color and green colors uh, in the center, right? So always multiple uh, principles of art could be applied to artwork. So last thing you need to do is uh, tasting, right? Okay.